This week, another mass shooting took place in America. It occurred on the campus of a community college in a small town in Oregon. President Obama, in his address to the nation, said that America was growing numb to this sort of violence. He added that our sympathies and our prayers aren't just enough. But then what would be the solution? Would it be tighter gun control or greater security? Well, please bear with me. I believe that there's other things that we can do to address the problem. But first, we should define what exactly is the problem. Nine people, nine innocent people died. Many more were injured. The perpetrator of this horrendous crime committed suicide. Why does this keep happening here in the United States? What is going wrong with our society? But before addressing the question, perhaps we should understand the problem and view the problem in its entirety. Of course, there were psychological issues involved with the perpetrator. But we are only looking at one of the symptoms of such malaise in our society. We should dig further. Therefore, I would like to bring to your attention that in 2013, 42,000 people committed suicide. In fact, in the United States, one person commits suicide every 12 and a half minutes. 2,100 of those suicides in 2013 were by teens. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. But amongst youth 10 to 24 years old, it is the second leading cause of death. Bullying is causing many problems for many people, specifically for our children in the schools. Some of the bullying situations have caused or have led to death, as well as practice of hazing in colleges, finishing through some stupid pranks the lives of people that had brilliant and promising careers ahead of them. Cyberbullying is just fueling on the problem as well. It forces our kids to feel like misfits and it stems their opportunity to engage in their social insertion process. Drugs have become an alarming problem. Younger and younger kids become prone to pushers and become addicts of drugs, addictive, addicted to drugs. It also causes deaths in our society, specifically amongst younger people and dealers over territory issues. And it causes psychological problems with our youth. Furthermore, rape and sexual violence also happens. The number of cases we have heard over the past year alone of sexual violence and rape occurring on the college campuses is just horrendous. And young children in middle and high school are engaging in inappropriate sexual conduct, sometimes just based on peer pressure. All of this happens in our schools on a daily basis, as well as throughout other parts of society. Let me also say or add that in the past week, a conspiracy was uncovered by a group of school kids that were planning on attacking their schools and killing a specific number of their classmates. The problem is much deeper, much vaster, with much graver consequences than an isolated event. With all due respect, again, my thoughts and prayers are with the families and the people that are recovering from this week's shooting. But our problem is much deeper than that. So how do we go about addressing it? Gun control and increased security could help as preventative methods, and in some cases could prevent or contain 
mass shootings. But it can't guarantee this won't happen again. And it does very little to address all the other issues that are plaguing our society and hurt our young. It definitely will not address the qualms that the young people who are perpetrating such horrendous crimes are subjected to. So if gun control and increased security can't offer any help in resolving the ailments of our society, then what can? It would seem to me that in order for us to address this issue, like President Obama suggested, that we have to do more, it would be that we have to figure out how to create a peaceful society. My name is Xavier van der Lanot. I'm the author of the book Our X Factor, the power to achieve everyday success and happiness. My primary objective for this book is for everyone who reads the book to achieve a life filled with greater success and more happiness. Yet at a deeper level, my dearest wish would be that if, if I could help everyone in leading lives with greater success and happiness, we would also create a society which is more peaceful and prosperous. When all will be said and done, it will be determined that the perpetrator of last week's mass shooting in Oregon will have had psychological issues. Now, people who commit suicide also have psychological issues or can't find a way out of their problematic situations. It goes the same for people that become addicted to drugs or of the people whose moral compasses misguide them into believing they can commit sexual crimes or conspire to harm others. And the worst is that these issues aren't outgrown with puberty. They linger on and infect and do harm to others. It is time that we address the problem in that way. To create a peaceful, harmonious and prosperous society, we need to provide people with the tools to create awareness, to grow their potential, to develop a sense of purpose and a way to meaningfully contribute to society and connect with others in ways that are both rewarding and enjoyable. To love their lives and what they do with them, to have self-esteem and good moral values and have the confidence to go through life without fear or the urge to, har to do harm to others just so that they can add meaning to their own existence. No, prayers and sympathy aren't enough, as was said by President Obama last week. Yet I'm afraid that tighter gun controls or increased security will not be enough either to stem the possibility of another mass shooting disappear or address all the other problems that I have mentioned before. It is time that we change direction and create a peaceful society, one in which each person gets to understand their true potential and finds purpose to meaningfully contribute and connect with others on sound moral foundation. I'm convinced that key answers to our discomfort, stress and frustration are provided in the book Our X Factor. For more information on how to achieve success and happiness individually or how to contribute on a more prosperous and peaceful society, please consult the book or subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram for more reports like this one. Thank you.